Stunning hillside of Austria and the Red Bull Ring circuit welcomes the Euro Formula Open Championship for their third event of the 2020 season. Yiffy Ye has been dominating proceedings so far this season with only one race seeing a different winner, Lucas Denaire, last time at Paul Ricard. If he looks quick in practice this weekend, he should be on for some more race wins, but will anybody be able to challenge him? Let's find out with two races at the Red Bull Ring this weekend. Highlights then of the first race of the weekend for the Euro Formula Open Championship and the fifth round of the championship saw Yiffier lead from pole position and never really looked back despite saying that it wasn't a brilliant start that he made. Manuel Maldonado and Sebastian Esther were dicing away for second place in the early stages uh, with Maldonado briefly out ahead of him. Rui Andrade was racing with um, Shahab Al Habzi as well in the early part of the race while Saint Maloney had to pit for an early puncture and then as he tried to fight back ran through the gravel through turns seven and eight. Nicholas Cruden was making up for a terrible start where he stalled on the line and made this incredible pass round the outside of Shahab Al Habzi. Rui Andrade would later be able to get past the Omani driver as well whilst many drivers were falling foul of track limits warnings through the final sector. Alexandra Barden on there with a run wide as well. There were no such problems though for the number 20 Crypto Tower racing car. Yippie Ye was able to comfortably come home a victor. 8.8 .8 seconds was his winning margin in the end over Manuel Maldonado in second. And Sebastian Esner rounded out the podium places. The start was not the best we had, um, but yeah, we managed to hold down for P1 until uh, turn two and turn four, and turn one and turn three. So from that, Onwards, I was just trying to manage my pace. I was seeing that the guys behind me cannot follow my pace, so I was managing my rhythm throughout the race and managing the tires as well in case there's a safety car. Unfortunately, uh, fortunately, there wasn't a safety car for me, so I hold the gap until the end of the race and uh, bring back home the victory. So very happy about that. And it's all good for the championship. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, another 25 points uh, plus the pole this morning, plus the fastest lap of the race. So very happy about that and big credit to the team. Hopefully we can uh, yeah, do the same again tomorrow. Let's take a look at the highlights of the second race of the weekend for the Euro Formula Open Championship, which started with a bang as Sebastian Esner, uh, Andreas Esner, sorry, from the inside of row number one, got tried to get the lead away going into turn number one from Yiffy but wasn't able to do it. There was contact for his brother, Andreas, who was hit by Manuel Maldonado coming out of turn number one. It looked as though Sebastian Esner had the lead, but he left the door open. Yiffy went up the inside into turn three. They both ran wide, and that helped Manuel Maldonado to scoop through into second and almost the lead. He got his nose in front of Yippie, got his whole car ahead into turn four, but ran wide, and the Chinese driver fought back on the inside to take the lead and didn't look back. There was damage to the back of Andreas Esther's car after that contact with Maldonado that will be investigated after the race. And then speaking of contact, Alexandra Bardanon was turned into a spin by Rui Andrade, but it was Bardanon who was awarded a time penalty. Ido Cohen made a mistake coming out of the final corner and uh, ran wide, losing a couple of positions, falling down from fourth to sixth, and that could have some championship ramifications for him. It was Yiffie though, who took the race victory once again, crossed the start-finish line, 5.8 seconds clear of the rest of the field. Manuel Maldonado second, Nicholas Cruz third, and Sebastian Esner in fourth position. The start was a bit hectic, I would say. Turn one, uh, loads of action going to turn three. Um, yeah, was going two abreast into uh, turn four. It was quite a hairy moment with uh, my teammate Manuel, but luckily we got uh, uh, out from P1 and then can hold the lead until the end, so very happy about that. It's never according to the plan, but it works uh, always well. <laughs> yeah, win is a win, so very happy about that. and. Uh, yeah, next one in Monza will be quite interesting with all the toe and slip streaming in the race going on. So winning will not be easy uh, anymore. So yeah, let's see what we can do there. <laughs>